club. All right, welcome back to our Final Fantasy two playthrough. Seth and Sam. Yeah. Hey guys. Hi. How you doing? So like we figured out what to do. Uh, we gotta. I totally forgot about talking to the king, but if we ask him about Sunfire, uh, Scout sealed the gates of the castle with Sunfire, and Case's army was defeated. You will need the Goddess Bell to lift the door again. So we memorize Goddess Bell. Ask him. Only the Cassian clan knows the bell's whereabouts. So now we have to talk to Cassian. No, clan? no, no. What? The airship what? guy. No, no, no. What's her face uh, in here? Mer Hilda. Oh. That's her name. Miss Queenly Lady. Yeah. So we ask her about the goddess bell. Yes, Scott and Gordon have mentioned that before. Cassian's doors only respond to the voice of a family member or to the sound of a magical bell. The bell is supposedly hidden deep within a cave in the snow line. You do not intend to go there, I hope. Oh, if, Gor eh, if Gordon were only here, you wouldn't have to risk your lives like this. I wonder where he has gone. Well, regret is pointless now. I can only pray for your safe return. <laughs> Joseph knows the snow feels as he does his own garden. He may have some good advice to offer. So, uh... I'm assuming our point of the conversation was implied, but since it wasn't said, the conversation was, you guys don't intend to go there, I hope. That's super dangerous. Good luck, have fun, bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. That's, that's real nice of the queen. Um, one of my favorite things about, like, silent protagonists is, like, uh, like, they'll say, like, someone will say something important to the plot or, like, directly to the silent protagonist. Then the reply just dot dot dot, and that's like a whole like four paragraphs of like information and stuff like that. And they're like, "Yeah, I totally understand everything you just said in that you know three dots." Yeah, um, it should probably be mentioned for for our viewers at home here. You know, not not the viewers in the room. Me and you. That's yeah. all. Uh, <laughs> you grinded oh, a lot. Oh yeah, I grinded a lot. Like, like, it's crazy. I, I had a phone in one hand looking up what to do, and then I had something, like, the fucking controller in my other hand. I'm not sure if you guys know or not, but everyone has full mithril armor and weapons. Is that top tier in this game? Does it get I'd better? I'd assume so. Um, I don't know if it gets better. Like, at this point, we, is all of our money just going to spells? It might. But, like, uh, because mithril, it might go... Mithril, Orichalcum, Palladium, or like uh, Adamantium. Uh huh. Because those are like the uh, sacred, like uh, magical ores and yeah. everything like that. Uh, Mithril is just the most common I've seen in Final Fantasy, so it might get better with more like magical ores and as we find them and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but if Mithril is like the best of the best, we're set for the rest of the game. <laughs> No, no, we didn't overgrind at all. We just went to an area we shouldn't be able to get to. Yeah. Grinded a shit ton of gold out of there. So, like, what was that spell? Uh, Berserk. Uh, there's enemies. You there's uh later game enemies you can fight in like certain areas of the game, and there's an enemy called a Warlock, and uh, Warlock has a chance of dropping uh one of the spells it used in the uh like in the battle, uh -huh. and one of the spells that uh that dropped was Berserk. Which was a, which is a late game spell for ten thousand gil that you can sell for five thousand. Yeah. So if you just grind the warlocks, you have a chance. Oh, excuse me, of it dropping berserk and just selling that for five thousand gold, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, undebatably overpowered. Like just the fact that you can get that so easy. No, oh, yeah. I mean. I want to say easy. I guess there, I I feel like in RPG, like early game RPGs, so, uh, they might have purposely done that just for the sake of if you can handle these enemies, uh -huh. you should be able to reap the rewards. Okay. So we were just holy crap. Oh yeah, Gus is awesome. Like that's that's crazy. Uh, like <laughs> what was it in Persona Three? After you beat the main game and everything, you start New Game Plus. Uh -huh. uh, it, uh, after a while, uh, your character level resets, but you get all your uh, personas back, which are basically like, 
extensions of your character that increase stats and spell and like give you different spells and all that. Okay. Uh, they change your weakness and resistance and whatnot. So you get access to all those again. But like, you know, they cost money to get back from the, you know, compendium and whatnot. Yeah. Like, it gives you this dungeon where everything's like level 90 plus. And it's like, your character's level 1, you have like a level 70 persona, mm-hmm. here's this hard ass dungeon that will make the game a breeze if you do well in it, good luck. That's cool. And like, you know, I, and like, you know, you're starting New Game Plus, first off, the game's harder anyway, because it's New Game Plus, but like, it does all, I don't know, like, I'm glad that they put, intentionally put like, harder areas for you to grind in and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, Alright, so here's Joseph, by the way. Yeah. Um, thank you for saving my daughter, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to ask him about the goddess bell now. You will not even make it to the ice cavern without my snowcraft. Well, then let's go. I hid the snowcraft inside the mines. On the first level, a blue rock marks the entry of a secret room. So right there, it's in there. Could we theoretically grab that the first time? Uh, no, because, like, if you go up to it and press X, nothing happens. Okay. It's just there to go, is that mithril, basically? And then you have, then it, you know, leads you on to the entire dungeon. And now it's given a purpose and whatnot. What does Joseph have in his stuff? Let's take a look at him. Oh yeah, Joseph did join our party. Does he have any mithril? No. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> he might be another Gus. Maybe. 28 attack, 4 defense, a ton of health. Oh, that he's a Gus. monk. Because he's unarmed. Oh. Does he know any magic? No. Nope. He's... This is weird. Alright. I don't like it. This is gonna be terrible. Maybe. I bet he's gonna be the worst. <laughs> Watch him deal like 400 damage right off the bat. <laughs> per hit. He's throwing like four out unarmed strikes. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Good, good job there. So... Good, good job. I'm really tired. Uh-huh. Um, we should probably mention this is... Three in the morning. Yeah. I I just woke up from, you know, an existential crisis nap. What? I don't know where I am right now. Well, I'm that's very, good. <laughs> I'm very confused. Um, yeah, I I closed at like I work at a pizza place. It's been mentioned before, um, and I closed tonight. So he does do a lot of damage. A lot more than I expected him to. Yeah. Um. So I got off work at about. 132 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sam over here took Andrea home because me and Andrea worked together and she got off work and like she was scheduled off at 10. Sam showed up around that time and then I felt really bad for him because uh, she didn't actually get off until after 10.30. Maybe 10. She got off she... about 11. That's really sad. Because like uh, I remember falling asleep at like 10.45 mm-hmm. and then her waking me up and being like, Sam... It's time to go home, and I'm like, what time is it? She's like, 11, 10. <laughs> That's sad. Like, Pizza King does that. And I'm really... I'm always so weary against asking people for... Uh, no, oh, damn it. We're gonna run away from these Sasquatches. No. Ah, you failure! <laughs> but I'm always re- really weary about asking people to help, like, pick, pick her up if they need to, because, I don't know. Yeah. I, uh... I... I said the, the name of our store. It's fine. No. Like, I, I'm sure people just brush it off. You know, now that I say that, people are gonna go back and fucking like, Oh, we have to find, the, you know, the exact pizza place Seth works at. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure... No, you don't have to write it down in the book. I'm gonna write it in the book. Alright. It's like, they know it's not gonna be something crazy, because we just said what it is that... That the thing is, so it's not like you're gonna be like, oh, they bleep that out. That's that's some crazy bad language. And so I mean, I'm not concerned it, with it. What? It's whatever. Um, I don't know. We didn't start a timer or anything. No. Nope. We're both super tired. We're like downing coffee like it's nothing to get these episodes out, which I'm fine with because I like playing Final Fantasy II with you, buddy. Good. It's really fun. I'm glad you think so. That'll make it a lot harder for me, though, when I, when I kick you out. Yeah. Forever. I'm the Yakla. Not my house. 
Oh gosh. That's so, that's a beautiful note. Question mark? <laughs> so here we are. We're in the uh, cave, and here's that little blue thing. Joseph told us to do something with. He said there was a hidden door to the right. Did he say it was to the right? I think so. No. Nope. What happens? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think we're all just gonna. He he just punched a hole. In the... No, he pressed a small rock in a hidden passage right here. No, no, right. he punched a hole in the, in the wall. 100%. <laughs> There's no debate about that. So, cool, secret room. Woo! Alright, and... I bet the chest is trapped. Why would it not? Here we go. Aww. You got Snowcraft in the treasure chest. Do you have your phone on you? Ah, uh, I do. We should go ahead and start up that timer. It's right here. Cool. It's almost dead, though, I'm sure. That's uh, like you guys. It's twenty six percent. All right, that's more than I expected to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got. I remember. I I've forgotten, but now I I uh, see. Sweet. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, I this, this tell morning. us. Like, tell us how you doing. Yeah. Comment well, down below. Let us know in the comments. Like, what's you, the most interesting thing that happened in your day today? You doing good. You guys sleepy? What time are you watching this? That's an important question. You know, we're here recording it at fucking three o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. Are you watching it at like three o'clock in the morning when this goes up? Like, are you a night owl? Are you a day person? I like owls. I do too. Owls are cute, dude. Like, uh, barn owls? They can turn their heads like 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. They can uh, look behind them. They actually, uh, did you know they can't like do a full rotation? But like, uh, I think it was like, they can just turn their head so fast in the other direction it looks like they're doing head spins. I mean, like, it would make sense that, because, like, if they can go, I don't know, 181 degrees, for instance, uh, and then turn the entire opposite way, that'd be over 360 degrees. Yeah. That would be a full rotation, just from their back, not their front. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, nifty. I don't know, like... I don't think it worked like that. Like, well, mm, what I'm, I guess, what I'm trying to think is like, could there like bodily or? Well, I mean, like, yeah. If like, if something were turning 360 degrees on something's body, and like, I was, I, uh, where am I going? I'm really fucking tired. Uh, oh, dude, yeah, these. Th yeah, these are cool. You think Joseph can handle them completely? Yeah, I bet fire like wrecks their day. Yeah, but like fire also costs two mana. Yeah, and if like, mana works anything like health, we want to drain her mana quickly in a fight, and then... <clears throat> Alright. Because I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, I just feel like it would help level it faster. But she still only has 24 total. Nice. Hopefully there's some kind of city between here and there. Nice. Nice. Wow. What's this Not... murder? Dude! Whoa! That's, oh I was my right. god! You, you were wrong. <laughs> Clearly. There was obviously a debate on whether or not fire would be super useful. Oh no, I knew fire <laughs> was going to be super useful. I was just like, I want to get Bolt up to level 2. I understand that. Because like, I don't I know. hate you. No. <laughs> yeah, it's not even... Fire's almost to level 3. Oh, we should keep grinding fire until, until it's all the way up. Just uh, use the others when it's super relevant. Alright, so I actually didn't look. Okay, so Joseph's proficient in his fists. And his accuracy is 99% Which for is two good. hits. Yeah. Like, he's consistent damage. If he I like throws Joseph. that punch, he's gonna kill you. Probably not kill. So, like, if, if Joseph was. Do oh, well. Okay, I was gonna ask, like, if Joseph's doing, like, all that crazy damage and, you know, clearly he can fight for himself, why didn't he just go into the mines and free everyone? But I forgot there was like, you know, we're also like the prophesized warriors or some bullshit. We're not prop. We? No, we're not prophesized. We're just we just rebels. happen to be a bunch of orphans who decided to help out. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, and and I could be wrong, but I think story wise, the reason he didn't jump in there and help so much was because Borgen basically had a knife at his throat, at his daughter's throat. Yeah, which is if Borgen had a knife at his throat, he'd be like, ah, oh, let's go, Borgen. Mm -hmm. Uh. Put out his daughter, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I, I'd definitely be a lot more reluctant to fight some, like, fight a cause if they were like, hey, we'll fucking kill your daughter if you don't, you know, just totally fuck off. So, snow caverns, dude. 
Yeah. Look at these. They're cool. That that does look pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I think this is high quality for the... Uh, has it already been 21 minutes since we started that timer? No, I actually started a, a countdown timer. Oh. So it's going down. Okay, I see. And that goes off. We start looking for a place to, to end the Stop episode. Stop the episode? Yeah. Alright. I so... hope it doesn't make a noise, now that I think about it. Um, no, I have everything turned down. Okay. So it should, it should vibrate. Good. Um, Dude, there's a hole in the wall. What? Oh, yeah, the crack? Yeah. Is it nothing? Yeah, it's nothing. Like, I mean, I want to click to exit a couple other buttons, but, like, nothing. Okay. Well, more importantly, there's a chest. As yeah. long as it has more than one kill, it's not the worst chest it's in the game. Just so much. <laughs> I was so mad. Like, there's no reason for that. Like, you know... We play our game, we just want a reward. What is he? Oh, is Gus he paralyzed? Is, yeah, he's stunned. Uh, I think that might be temporary. Looks like it. Yeah. I hope it's not permanent, because we don't have the Suna or anything to prevent being <laughs> stunned. Man, if only we had a ton of money recently to have spent on spells. Eh, I'll grind more off screen and <laughs> we'll be fine. You should stop kicking the mic. Oh, my bad. I like, I like touching stuff with my foot. That's creepy. Oh, the shadow? Well, I was talking about touching stuff with your foot. Oh. Have you okay. seen those things? They're gross. Well, I mean, like, remember that SpongeBob episode where Squidward was like, Oh, SpongeBob, all your feet are much cleaner than your hands. No. Because they're in your socks all day and, you know, your hands touch all that dirt and whatnot. And so Spongebob serves the guy his Krabby Patty with his feet. And the guy's like, Ooh, you got gross feet. And Spongebob's like, "Oh." You do really bad impressions. You should stop that. They're disgusting. <laughs> I hate you now. Disgusting? Wow, <laughs> Sam. Like, we can't be friends anymore, oh, Sam. That's understandable. <laughs> also, earlier when I mentioned that I was kicking you out of the Yacht Club, it was a joke. Now it's free. Now it's free. <laughs> oh, shit. Joseph's blind for good for good yeah yeah that probably will never go away i'm dude eight my... damage oh dude eye drops we could have some of those we could use them we could or we could just assume that like we don't need joseph we overgrinded everyone else ah uh -huh. we did overgrind everyone else so like joseph's just here to to yell words at a wall when we get there <laughs> <laughs> probably like it'll go away after a few turns right do we uh, go through the door or down the stairs? We go through the door. Okay, so down the stairs. All right. Good, good talk, game. I'm glad we discussed this. Snow Some cavern, me too. Door to the... So, have you been keeping up with uh, Final Fantasy One playthrough? I have. I've been watching every episode. Um, I forget where I left off. I. I think I left off right before they went into the Earth Cave. Uh huh. But like, I hear thing they they I hear them say things every now and then, whenever they're about to record. Like, I know they're working towards the flying boat. Okay. That's about what. Dude, is that's that? cool. Just fire everything. All right. Cause like you get bonus damage on it, and also I want to see how it. How it does. Me too. Um, but no, Tim made a really good point in his most recent video. Wow, that was good, good, decent damage to everything. Yeah. It didn't kill it, no. but it did. It was all right. Anyways, um, he was like, "Man, they should stop talking about our stuff. People don't want to see Final Fantasy One, Final Fantasy Two. Screw those guys. I hate those guys." Also, I'm really happy that we like shit talked them enough that. They're starting to shit talk us back. Oh yeah, like I mean, it's beautiful. A little bit of shit talking, nothing. Right. It's it's really nice. It's Wait, so enjoyable. I do need to catch up. Oh hey! fucking fire! Fire magic's level three. Yeah. But uh, I do need to catch up on that because like I mean I like our content. I think we're we can be funny or enjoyable to listen to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, um, I play like I treat our content more as a podcast. Legitimately, I do. I, I enjoy us talking with each other. I think it's good content to have. Um, so, I play it when I'm, like, in the car driving to different houses. Yeah. And I just listen to everything that's going on. And it's, it's really enjoyable that way. 
I feel so too. Just not not a random statement Dude. to the fans that you should. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the animation chant that was cool, Maria. Maria's really good now. She is. I'm glad. Not not a random statement to the fans that if you can't be watching our content on a computer, you should just pull it up on your phone and listen to it while you drive. Don't watch it while you drive. That's dangerous. Yeah, don't. Come on. J focus Get it on together, the road fans. When you drive. Just because Seth is a bad driver doesn't mean you should be a bad Seth's driver. Seth's a great driver. He gets paid to drive. I do too. <laughs> um, fucking. Okay, so like today, uh, it was it was my first delivery of the day. And, you know, it was probably around 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know how they give us a little change bag? Yeah. You know, so, like, if a customer pays and whatever, we can give them change. Yeah. Uh, notice? Not us. <laughs> but, uh, on my first delivery, I forgot my change bag, yeah? Oh, I hate when that happens. And the order was probably, like, 11 bucks. Uh -huh. And I was like, hey, look, I'll just come back here in a second and, um, you know, I'll get your change back. And he's like, okay, yeah. I'm like, as I'm leaving the, uh, what was it? Um, as I'm leaving the apartment building, the guy just calls out, hey, just keep it. That's How much did he give you? Oh, a 20. Dude. So, like, he straight up gave me, like, an $8 tip. That's pretty nice. That's just block tips. Mm hmm <laughs> Uh, edit that out. No. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Write it down in the book, you idiot. <laughs> I can't believe you. That's that's twice. I'm not used to talking but, on the camera. No, I, I understand. Like, you know, we'll slip every now and then. Like, we've had to edit out a bunch of Tim's profanities. Granted, he does it the first time. It's like, oh, that's profanity. Well, I've already said it once, so what's a hundred more times? He legitimately just... Wow. And I'm just like, Tim, no, don't do that. First off, um, people will think you're a terrible person. Yep. Granted, you are. Uh, second off, you're making a lot of work for uh, the editors. You know, editor. Okay. Tim does that, too. He purposefully adds work to the editors. Stop it. Sorry. Sam. But, like, <laughs> between my toes itches and, like, the bucket's right there and, like, I can scratch it real good. <laughs> it's worth noting. We don't have, like, we have a mic, um... What is it called? Clamp? Yeah. We have a thing to clamp the mic down to something, and then uh, kind of a bar that holds it. And then you don't have an actual stand for it, though, and there's nothing to clamp the mic to near us. Yeah. So we put that in a bucket and stuffed a bunch of stuff around it to where it would hold still. That's a current mic setup. Yeah. It's, it's not pretty, but it's It's not efficient. good, but it works. Yeah. Which is all that really matters. Yeah. Working. <sighs> God. No, see, we should have let Joseph be blind. Now we have to deal with Fury. We do. And, and Gus. Too bad there's only one I set of eye drops. No, we have another one. Nope. That set over there? It's not eye drops. It's uh, fake eye drops. <laughs> it's uh, eye fire. <laughs> we just dropped fire in our allies' eyes. <laughs> How dare us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to get Maria's cure up a bunch, too. It's close to being level 2. Mm -hmm. As we saw from Mindu when he was, like, what was he, level 6 on Cure? His Cure was, like, level 7. He could 100% heal the party mm -hmm. consistently with a single cast. It was pretty nice. What is that? Grenades. I'm a little scared. Oh, man. I don't have one more mana. I, I don't like this. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're the exploding enemy kind. What happens? Is it... Okay, that's like, nothing. I was terrified that when they died, they exploded and did damage to everyone. Oh, no. They uh, they have an ability where they can explode. Oh, so they're Voltorbs. Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, can you ride one of those? No. Clearly, they move by rolling. <laughs> did you... Have you seen that episode yet? Has it gone up? Yeah. Say yeah. we're out of Final Fantasy. Oh, are we? Yeah, that's why I said, Sam, come over, we're recording tonight. Oh, We okay. don't have an episode for tomorrow. Uh, did you, did you see how Billy edited that video? No, why? Um, you, you'd have to see it, because, like, it's a lot funnier to watch than it is to explain, but, like, what Billy did in that video is fucking hilarious. Are you talking about the hashtag wrecked or whatever you put on there? The hashtag savage? Yeah, Yeah, okay. super funny. Yeah, I, I was like, I think really, so, that's great. Anyway. We should do more of that. 
But also, Billy should tell me how. <laughs> I don't know how to do our stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, Maria. That was pathetic. Well, she's not casting level 3 stuff anymore now, is she, mm -hmm. Sam? Oh. It's like, I almost said, hey, we should get her more proficient with other spells. Okay, well, we can cast fire all the time until she runs out of mana. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph's endurance increased. Woo! Um, right. ooh, ooh, chests! All there's, around! There's so much chest! I love chests! Uh, I was looking up how to, like, min-max in this game. Yeah, um, I should do min-maxing horror. Yes, that is the... that's my official title. <laughs> so, yeah. Min-maxing horror. No last name, Sam! Fuck Put it in the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, is that really so bad? Like, I mean... Yeah! Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, I'll eventually not care, but... For right now, right uh... Now. Up until the point that our content is something that I want to show my grandma. I... You want to show your grandma this? Dude, a battle axe! I could totally equip that to Gus. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> well, no, I want to... I actually kind of want to bring back her cussing down a little bit, you know, make it more... more PG to where if my family sees it, I'm not wrecked. Oh man, fuck that. I hate you, Sam. Did you actually <laughs> see the conversation me and Tim had the other day, though? Mm -hmm. On the chat? Ah... Uh... Probably, but I mean, it was probably like, you know, by the time I saw it, it was probably like seven paragraphs of fucking tags, and I was like, eh, I'll skim through it. Okay. And then skimming through it got me none of the information. Yeah. That sounds like something you would do. <gasps> Dude, Mithra. Mithra. Too bad none of our people use a mace. Nope. We'll also, sell it. enemy just jumped out on us. Screw. Oh, that grenades. That's a lot of enemies. That is. Too bad Maria's out of mana. Yeah. Oh, anyways, the way to, to min-max mana, um, you get close to a town, equip all of your people with just shields, that way they can't attack, yeah. or can't actually do damage, I think shields always do, like, zero. Um, take a small amount of damage and have your, the person you're trying to level up just repeatedly cast here. You can. So, like, you run out of mana on the full fight, you then use... Your spellcasting person who's constantly casting cure um, to finish the fight or run away, it doesn't really matter. And then you go into an end to. Actually, no, it does matter. You have to finish the fight because if you run away, you don't get the experience. But you've used a lot of mana in that fight, so it, it levels it up better. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not going to do that. Except we're totally going to do that but in I mean, episodes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we'll get, like, that entry kit, but, like, we'll walk out of a town and use bolt a hundred times. Yeah, but that'll kill everything. That's That was the whole point of cure. It won't kill everything. So well, you can actually drain your mana down a lot. It only goes up one level at a time, yeah? Maybe. I don't know. We've seen people go down a ton in damage and then move up a lot on their health. I suppose, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm burpy. No, cold coffee isn't that good. Well, you're the one who made it cold. Sam? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't just down all my coffee in one sitting. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> mean to me. Uh, God, Maria only has 60 Yeah. But, but, I mean... She is in the back lines, mm -hmm. like, so she isn't targeted that often. And she'll take reduced damage when she does get hit, unless yeah. it's by, like, uh, arrows. Mm -hmm. So, nearly first, like, priority is kill anything that shoots ranged. Yeah. Uh, um, I lied. Priority is kill magic, then ranged. Oh, yeah. Then swingy guys. So, I'm lost in this cave. That's fine. We don't need to know where we're going. Nah. We'll just keep moving down the, down the train. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, Look at that massive two damage, thanks to our full mithril equipment. The mithril is awesome. Like, and like we're just plowing through everything. Like this is just a joyride, really. Yeah, we're just kind of kind of enjoying the the view while we while we throw stuff. Yeah. Like they're basically like, throwing money at us at this point. It's like <laughs> here's this thing. Like eh, you kill it easily, but here it is. I like. <laughs> I like to think every, or uh, yeah, all the enemies are just sitting there like, 
yeah, those guys look really tough. They're, we, we shouldn't mess with them. And we're like, do you see those, those, those guys over there? Let's go kill them. <laughs> Like, uh, everything's running away from us because they, they know they'll die. What it is, is it's like, wow. uh, there's like a bulletin board, like a monster <laughs> bulletin board that's like, hey, whoever gets rid of these guys doesn't have to pay rent for a year. That's not and, a bad deal at all. We're all orphans. Yeah. So everyone's just like running at him and it's like, hey, I don't fucking like, you know, I got a kid and like a job that's real shitty. Like, I don't want to pay rent anymore. And <laughs> we're just... So... Cavern's cleared. Yeah. But <laughs> we're, we're basically just like, eh, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you know, there's probably one zombie, like, back there that was like, oh, Johnny! Uh, and then just passed out dead. Yeah. You know, there's these icicle dudes, like, they can't hug anyone. It's like, oh, <laughs> look, look at their arms. They're like Edward Scissorhands, but cooler. Yeah, and colder. Yeah. And you couldn't ride one of them, it'd be too cold. You'd be no. uncomfortable. I guess. We also <laughs> don't know how like how big an icicle is. The icicle enemy, I suppose. I mean, I should it say. really depends on the icicle, does it, Sam? Like really? if, it, if it's dripping off of the, the car, it's not gonna get that big. It's only. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> there's been years here, but like it gets really cold and like real like it it warms up and like a bunch of whoa whoa. These might be enemies that might. Pose a problem. These are cool. I want to just like plow through. Wow. All right, so not a problem. <laughs> but I was excited for a second. They're bit, oh fuck. Okay, we can still handle them. I you just had a bad hit. That's all it was. Probably. Well, yeah. There's been years where it's like got real cold and like it warms up, so stuff starts to melt, but then, then it gets like cold it gets real cool yeah. again. So like you get those really. Thick, really long icicles mm -hmm. that are like r dripping off the side of the house. Um, Those are we cool. We picked, and we took a picture of it on Andrea's old phone. I don't know if it's still there, but there was an icicle bigger than Andrea. Wow. Uh, we should also heal. Yeah, definitely. Like, Yosef. Stuff's not going good right now. Don't heal everyone. Just, just Yosef on Yosef. <laughs> I used to think that's his last name. Yosef? Yosel, based purely on the face. Like, if you're doing that with your face, your last name's Yosel. Probably. There's no exception. Dude, I scroll! Check that out. That's like cool. the one, uh, That's the first one level spell we, we didn't have. give her. Yeah. There you go, Maria. You know ice now. You know all the magic. Oh. Alright, so I think this is a good time to end the episode. Is it? Me personally. Nah. 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 We march onward to victory. Alright. We should at least go down to the next level. I'm fair with that. I'm fine. Fair with that? I'm fine with that. <laughs> the enemy strikes first. Whatever Dude. will we do? Uh, but yeah, like like I was saying, the icicle can't hug anyone. So, I think it can. I mean, look, look at it. It's like, those are definitely sides. I'd like to think they're like, a docile creature. I, oh yeah, they're <laughs> definitely not, this definitely wasn't a match where they started with a preemptive strike or anything. Okay, well, like, they were just defending themselves from us after we killed, I don't know, 30 of their comrades. In self-defense? Like, I mean, like... Was it self-defense? Because we just marched up well, there and we, we marched, ruined we, them. We have a goal. You know, the goal is just to get to the end of the dungeon. We just want the goddess bell, you know? Uh -huh. These things are attacking us. Yeah. So we're defending ourselves. Eh, it's a stretch. So, like, I mean, like, we got the guys who escaped... They just got caught up in the bad crowd, you know? Like, you know, when they, they escape, they, they get to live, you know, you know, well, I won't chase after them. But like, I mean, like, these guys who are coming after us is like, man, nah, look at us, we're gonna kill you, say? But you know. Were, were they? Were yeah. They, were they like, see? Yeah. Uh, they, they... They're clearly 50s mobsters, didn't you know? If they were clearly 50s mobsters, then yes, your point has been made. They're, they're evil people. <laughs> Evil These are sickles. people, though. They're monsters. There, there is sickles. Not <laughs> icicles. There's <laughs> sickles. Yeah. Hey, Maria's HP went up. It did. About time. Alright. What a loser. Oh, gosh. A chest. Ooh, with a potion. Another oh, dude, chest. Another chest. See, you said it was time to Mithril end. spear? Dude, we have so much mithril stuff. Oh, cool. No one uses spears, though, but... Or like... maces, but yeah, it's, it's whatever. 
Yeah, like, not, it doesn't auto-equip to anyone. So, I mean, that just went easy. Well, Mindu used Mises for the small moment in time we had him. Okay. And, like, I didn't know he could have equipped Mises. Because, like, apparently, I think the staffs and the Mises are, like, interchangeable. And, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense, because they're, like, blunt weapons. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe well, that's the... Is it blunt? Like the marijuanas. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, really? Is that, <laughs> is that what we're gonna have in the episode? I mean... Like, you, you said next floor. Uh, yeah, and the then next you floor ruined like... it. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go ahead and go to the next floor. There it is right there. Um... Alright, Snow Cavern Bottom Floor 5. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Because our content's the best content. It is. Thanks for coming back to the Yeah Club. Yeah. And you guys are so cool. Yeah, you guys are the best. Uh, I we, we should get a fancy name for for our subscribers. I've been thinking club members, but we occasionally introduce the episodes as your club members for today's video are. Yeah. So like... Because then we get confused and we'd have to have like fans on the show and everything. We could totally do that. We should. 100%. Subscribe to our content and maybe we'll put you on the show, even though we won't tell you where we live. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> don't, let's be honest, you don't want to come to my house. <laughs> Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.